Soil Part 1 Our environment is composed of atmosphere, earth and water. The interaction between atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere is continuing for years together. Soil is one of the three major natural resources alongside air and water. We get everything for our living from soil. Soil is a natural medium on the surface of the earth without which there would be no life. It is made up of minerals and decomposed organic matter along with air and water. It can create a habitat for fungi, bacteria and related organisms which in turn feed and support plant life. Healthy soil is fundamental to the quality of food it produces. Soil formation is a long and complex process and it can take 100 to 10,000 years to create one inch of topsoil. Climate, topography, living organisms and the type of parent material determine the nature of the soil. Parent materials come from breakdown of underlying rocks or from deposits from streams or rivers, seas and gulfs, hills, wind and glaciers or organic plant residue. Over time, these materials are weathered by freezing, thawing, wetting, drying, heating, cooling, erosion and chemical reactions. Eventually, the parent material is divided into three horizontal layers. The top layer consists of mostly organic matter and biological activity. The middle layer is the zone of maximum material accumulation and the bottom layer is mostly parent material but altered. The topsoil is important as it is the foundation of life on earth. Crop quality directly depends on the quality of agricultural soil on which it is grown. The fundamental properties of soil are divided into three major categories, namely physical, chemical and biological. Soil comprises of minerals, organic matter, water and air. The composition and proportion of these components greatly influences the physical properties including color, texture structure and porosity. These properties regulate and affect the air and water movement in the soil. Organic matter includes residue of dead plants, animals and organisms and nutrients such as nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus which are necessary for plant growth. Soils which contain 30% or more of organic matter are called organic soil. All other soils are identified as mineral soils. Organic matter in the soil improves water infiltration, decreases evaporation and increases water holding capacity. Also, the organisms present in the organic matter of the soil help to convert it back to nutrients and to create crumbs in soil that help in cultivation. The term pH is used to indicate the level of acidity or alkalinity of a soil. Range of pH values of good soil lies from 5.5 to 7.5. Below pH 7 the soil is termed as acidic and above pH 7 are alkaline. 
The pH of soil is important for the type of vegetation that will grow and the type of organisms that will live there. Also, presence of organic matter in soil has a close relationship with soil pH. Soil richer in organic matter is acidic in nature as a result of degradation of various substances that produce acid in soil. The availability of sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulfur tends to decrease with decreasing pH since conditions which acidify the soil such as weathering and plant uptake also result in removal of these nutrients or decrease microbial activity. Soil is the abode of millions of organisms. It is the most abundant and diverse ecosystem on earth. Soil organisms include both plant and animal forms, ranging from sub-microscopic viruses to earthworms to large burrowing animals. Major microbial groups in soil are bacteria, fungi, algae and protozoa. These feed on plant residues, burrow the soil and help in aeration and percolation of water. Soil microbes also control the quantities and forms of various chemical elements found in soil. Most notable are cycles of nitrogen, carbon, sulfur and phosphorus all of which help in increasing soil fertility. Soil microbes convert organic forms of elements into their inorganic forms and liberate ammonia, carbon dioxide, sulfate, phosphate and inorganic forms of other elements. This process is known as mineralization. This is the major nutrient cycles in all major ecosystems of the world. Besides their rates of production of inorganic forms from various organic forms, soil microbes, particularly soil bacteria, also control the forms of ions in which these nutrients occur. Thus, physical, chemical and biological properties of soil affect many processes in the soil that is suitable for cultivation and other purposes. Fertility of soil is closely associated with properties of soil and is defined by its capacity to hold water and nutrients and supply them to plants when they need them, independent of direct application of nutrients. Transfer of nutrients from soil's organic matter to the mineral stage depends on the activity and diversity of the soil organisms. Soil fertility can be described in terms of soil organic matter content with good living conditions for soil organisms and growing condition for the roots. The availability of nutrients, the soil's water holding capacity and its biological activity. A major part of soil's microbial biomass is composed of fungi. Mycorrhizae, which are an important representative of soil fungi, form a symbiotic relationship with most plant roots. The plant roots provide sugar for the growth of mycorrhizae. The fungus in turn explores the soil and brings back water as well as nutrients such as phosphate, zinc and copper that are not easily available to plants. Mycorrhizae enlarge the rooting zone of plants and enter small soil pores where plant roots cannot access. Proper soil fertility management is very important to know how nutrients become available in the soil. 
This is done by protecting the soil and feeding it organic material and then letting it feed the plants in a balanced way. A good organic soil can produce good crop yield for several years.